So today I'm going to take up the Tier 2 J2 M2. Uh, this plane, surprisingly, is a boom and zoom plane, which is a, a rarity in the Japanese tech tree. Uh, I can't really say that this is a first impressions video, as I've already unlocked several of the uh, modifications for it. I basically tried to beeline it straight down this weaponry uh, tab here. Of course, I got the fuselage and the radiator, but only after I managed to get uh, these upgrades here so I could max out my uh, offensive armament. Um, now, um, uh, and one more thing, you may see that I'm using the tracer belt in my 20 millimeter cannon. That is because the tracers are all high explosive fragmentation. Uh, high explosive uh, rounds in the uh, 20 millimeter cannons are typically going to be the best ones for taking down aircraft. And with every single round being a high explosive fragmentation in this belt, you have the highest concentration of that in this particular belt. So I'm, I'm, I chose to use the tracers instead of the uh, other belts that are available. Um, so, as I was saying, this plane is pretty much a... Uh, it, I mean, it, it, it can still turn reasonably well, but where this thing really shines is in dive speed. Uh, it... It, the uh, climb rate on this thing is actually kind of deceiving. This thing climbs a lot better than it uh, than the uh, card says. And like I said, the dive speed of this thing. And, I mean, there's not really much of anything that'll be able to touch this thing as long as you maintain that speed. Uh, this thing can give a P-51 a, a run for its money. Um, so with all that said, let's jump into a battle. And let's try to, uh, let, let's see if we can uh, turn out a good result with this. Uh, this is the first battle I've taken since unlocking this ammo belt here. Uh, and usually, like I said before, I try to go with the belt, whenever I'm using cannons, I try to go to the belt that has the highest concentration of high explosive rounds. Uh, just because th those are going to do maximum damage. So let's see how these things do. Okay, so I decided instead of going with the tracer rounds on my uh, 20 mils, like I said before, uh, I decided to go with the Omni Purpose because I wanted to have that little extra, uh, that little bit of extra um, punch with the 20 mils. They they have, a, you'll notice, an armor-piercing incendiary round. I just wanted to have a little bit more of an incendiary property to this belt. Now you'll also notice it has, still has a lot of high explosive fragmentation to it. So that's, this thing still packs the kind of punch that the tracer belt does, but at the same time it has that added incendiary quality to it. So we're gonna we're gonna rock this belt instead, and to battle. And I'm gonna try to get this thing up to about twenty thousand feet, ish, somewhere in that ballpark. But this P400 is looking kind of tempting. I think I'm going to go try and put some rounds into him. He appears to have turned the tables on this uh, J2M, on the other J2M. So I'm going to come in over here and help him out if I can. Got him. That was nice. That's the whole team. I may put together a ser uh, several videos or several battles because it seems like every time I get into a battle, all I can get is maybe one kill and then that's it. So I'm going to probably do a second battle as well in this video. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some stuff done. Uh, before the rest of the enemy team is wiped out, or 
or my team is wiped out either way. Hopefully we'll be able to do something before that happens. Hopefully something more than just one kill. Okay, it looks like most of the enemy team is consisting of bombers. Because they've already started wrecking the shit out of our uh, ground units, so... We need to get in there and deal with some of them. Take him down! Slow down. Somebody attack him! I didn't really think I did all that much damage to that guy, but hey, whatever. It works. I'll take it. All right, there's a P-51 over here that's got to go. Well, that Zero looks like he's, he appears to be all over him, so I'm going to shift my attention to this Hellcat over here. P-51 it is, because he's outrunning the, the Zero. I should be able to gain on him here. I'm out of cannon. Alright, I'm leaving this guy alone. I've got a bug out. I am far too low. I need to rearm anyway. And a nice soft landing. Let's use that rudder, get this thing stopped. 
And nice little fishtail there at the end. And with the magic of video editing, we will cut out this reload. And I will be back once I'm back in the air. Okay, and we're back in the air again. And we've got a B-25 over here to deal with. Let me see, there's three enemy planes left. Two of them are directly ahead of me. I'm not sure where they're well. Yeah, two of them are directly ahead. I'm not sure where the third is. All right, there's the third one. Attack the enemy. I'm inclined to let the B-25 go because he's gonna have to rearm and come back to bomb anything else anyway. So I'm gonna focus my attention on those fighters. There's only one fighter left to get. So. The enemy is winning. We must counterattack. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't do head-ons. I've never understood the I've never understood the need to go head-on with somebody. You're putting yourself right in their gun sight too. Don't do it unless it's an absolute, absolute last resort. This guy's running for home. I, I've got to get there before he uh, before he gets in range of his triple A. Which I don't think is going to happen because he's almost right on top of it. So I'm going to pull up. I'm staying away from that triple A. Stuff down. Uh, I'm going in. I typically hate doing this, but right now I am beyond caring. So, anyway. That's the J2M2. Uh, managed. It, it took a long time to record this, by the way. As you may have noticed, I've unlocked several other things since the, the intro. This plane is very heavily dependent, or from what I've from what I've uh, gathered, this plane is very heavily dependent on these flight performance modifications. Very heavily dependent, and on top of that, you also at the same time you have to get this offensive 20 millimeter belt because 
these seven mils are worthless completely worthless and the the default belts for the 20 mils are equally as worthless but once you get start getting these unlocked or all these uh, things unlocked this thing actually starts to perform pretty uh, pretty competitively at its battle rating but before you get those unlocks this thing is the truest meaning of a grind so got a nice little trophy there in the first place I only got two badges for it but oh well got final blow and terror of the sky first place on the team first place overall actually I've got the highest score of, over anybody on either team three kills and a uh, death that a death at the hands of triple a which really uh, anybody could see it coming ba the triple a at the airfields are like it's like they're laser guided so they're a little bit on the overpowered side but yeah, that's it for this uh, J2M. It's a plane that, when it's stock, it's a piece of shit. Once you get the unlocks, or all the thing, all the uh, different modifications for it, it starts to perform better. It's pretty heavily dependent on those modifications, from what I've seen. Now, this is my opinion. It's completely subjective. Your mileage may completely vary on on this subject matter. But in my experience with this plane. It sucks without the un or without the modifications, and it gets much better once you start getting a, a lot of these. In particular, these 20 millimeter offensive belts. Because I'm going to pull this up here, and I don't know if if anybody out there is subscribed to a guy named Mags TV. He's also commented on this. Look at these default belts. You got a tracer. A couple of fragmentation incendiaries and incendiaries and an armor piercing incendiary. That is probably the absolute worst 20 millimeter offensive belt I have ever seen in this game. I mean, 20 millimeter cannons and really all cannons, really, their damage comes from their high explosive rounds. Now, when you're in ground forces, that's another story, but in the air. High explosive is the best overall round that you can get for, a for any kind of cannon, for that matter. Whenever you have a plane with cannons, put as much high explosive in those cannons as you can. So, that's why I decided to go with the universal rounds instead of uh, the default, because they're far better, and it, it, you notice the uh, difference. And, oh! Hey, look at that. I got a uh, air superiority thing. Okay, I'll take it. Cool. So anyway, that's the uh, end of this video. If you like what you saw, click down below on the like and the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.